Howdy, this is Chuck with Simply Nuck, and this is the new Panther Canyon, the Intel 11th Gen Core consumer product. And we're going to take a look at the outside of it today. I'm not going to cover the unboxing because the box contains the power supply, the Visa plate, and the user manuals you've come to know and love. So let's just take a look at these chassis options, and we're going to show you a new one. So first we have our slim or K chassis, which does not have the two and a half inch drive bay. And then we have what looks like the H or tall chassis. This is actually the new Q chassis. It is the third option. And what it adds is a Qi charging lid with LED indicator that you're charging your phone or device. The unit is also available in the H chassis or the tall chassis with the two and a half inch drive bay. This is just a lid that's been added and offered as a new uh, Q chassis. All right, taking a look at the front, we have our illuminated power button. Uh, it does blink or change colors when you're in standby or sleeping. We have our 3.5 millimeter HD audio port, which means stereo headset plus microphone or earbuds, or earbuds with mic. We have our USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, 10 gigabit. And we have our USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, or I'm sorry, Type-C port, with alternate display port 1.4 and Thunderbolt 4 on the Type-C connector. And this will drive display off the front connector. Taking a look at this side, we have our SD card slot and we have a large air inlet for cooling air to get into the chassis. And the other side, you can see our Kensington lock and again, a large air inlet. Taking a look at the back and starting from the left side, we have our 5.5 by 2.5 millimeter DC jack, which is 19 volts. The i3, i5, and i7 have different wattages, and so the power adapter may be different for the unit that you get. We have our MDP port, and this is MDP 1.4, and it does support MST for up to four monitors. Now, typically, you plug three monitors in here, but you'll see that we also have a full-size HDMI 2.0B, for up to 4K 60 Hertz. And we have a second USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit plus alternate display port 1.4 plus Thunderbolt 4 with video so that you can drive uh, up to three monitor, up to four monitors off this jack off the front. Or you now have four video connectors with the two Type C's the MDP, and the HDMI. And so you can drive four 4K by 60 Hertz or a single 8K monitor from this unit. We have two USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit type A ports, and we have a 2.5 gigahertz ethernet port. And then we have the hot air exhaust along the top here. And you can see that the Q lid instead of being flat, adds about three millimeters of height. Before we look at the inside, I do want to point out these four rubber plugs are to mount the two and a half inch drive. So to reduce the height, the two and a half inch drive bay has changed from a big frame down to having the drive mount directly to the bottom plate and using a shorter uh, frame. So your two and a half inch drive slides in there you remove the four plugs and, and put your screws in. This is the SSD cooling plate with a thermal gap pad. And now, taking a look at the inside, we have two DDR4 3200 DIMMs up to 64 gig of memory. We have our Wi-Fi 6 radio is soldered down. This is a 2280 M.2 slot and supports both SATA and PCI Express SSDs. Now, and over here, we have our Keck connector. It is 
hard to see, but down in here is a four pin connector. That is for uh, TV sets. Like you turn the TV set on and you want the nook to come on with it or vice versa. And there's an extra uh, electronics needed to plug into that to do it if needed. We have our USB 2.0 port here. We have our USB 3.0 port here. We have our RGB connector that is going to an RGB light ring. So one of the things I neglected to tell you on the front panel is there's RGB lighting. And then we also, and one of the other things I didn't cover on the front is these four holes are for Alexa response. This is a far field uh, beamed quad array mic. And that plugs in right here. So that is the inside of the new Panther Canyon. Head over to simplynook.com and choose the Panther Canyon up to 64 gig of memory, up to eight terabytes of storage, up to another eight terabytes of two and a half inch storage. Check out the links below. Thank you.